Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Capricorn friends. It's me, Christelle Martinet, and I want you to concentrate, 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 because I'm going to ask you to choose a pile, a, a spread, a, a, a cup, a deck, right, center, or left. Before I do that, go to my website, www.christellemartinet.com. Think, 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 think. And I'm going to see Francesca. Francesca, hello. You think right, center, or left. When I choose, I'll go back and look and see if you've chosen. Or write to me when you have, see my website, readings at christellemartinet.com. You'll find that I do um, past life regression. I'm a clinical hypnotherapist. And I also work with soul therapy, soul groups, soul mates. You go and read about me. All right, now choose the right, the center, or the left. And I'll go look and see if someone has chosen. Uh, nobody has said anything. I'll wait a second. The left. The left. Okay, then I turn these two upside down. And those give me a reading for the immediacy of the situation, Capricorn. And then I will turn all of my... I spread the cards in rows of five cards. Rows of five cards. Let's take a look and see what happens here for you in the month of January. There are two parts to this reading. This is the first part. And then the second part will deal with all of the different signs of the zodiac. Hello, everybody in my room. Now, let me tell you what's going on. First, I'm seeing here a situation in the... Um, in the uh, immediacy of the situation the, this, these days right here, I see that there's a person that um, is important for you on the job and uh, very, very important. And they may even border on uh, being a partner for you, a potential partner for you. The first week I'm seeing here, uh, things change all of a sudden uh, towards the end of that week, mid to end of the week. I see that um, there are two people that are not working in your favor, both male and a female. You need to watch your back that first week. You need to watch your back. And um, this has to do with things of matters of the home. You know, um, I'm seeing a woman with child, a woman with a child, and especially those of you cancering. I just want to say hello. Thank you. Thank you, Francesca, for that donation. Those people of you who have children will be more prone to needing to control left and right because a man and a woman will be working against you. The second week here, I see that Love will be on your mind, Capricorn. Love will be on the mind, especially for Capricorn women. And um, there, there is a beautiful moment in the second week where you're, you're, you're full of um, hope for the future in terms of how you um, uh, can possibly meet someone. Or you, you think of what is child, as if you were a child. That second week of January seems... To me, as, uh, as, as if I'm looking at a Capricorn with different eyes, you're looking at, at life through the eyes of a child. And the third week uh, is where there's a little more difficulty here, um, uh, Capricorn friends. I see that there is uh, harmony as well. There is a person who's helping you along your merry way. There are two things here. There's a person who's hiding thing, things from you this third week of January. And there's someone who's helping you. Keep them both, like they say, keep your uh, friends close and your enemies closer. And this is my suggestion from what I'm reading here. But that quickly dissipates in the third week. And I find here um, laughter and merriment with family and friends. And there's all that, you know, that feeling of, ah, uh, Finally, I'm feeling myself against. Finally, I'm feeling because you, you, the, the, the entire um, month starts out really with that person, that important person who is guiding you toward your new opportunity, your new job opportunity. It's about work, basically, except this third 
week, uh, this second week, when your heart fills with joy for a, a new sensation of love or your eyes just open to the idea of love. Then the last week here, the last week here is a new start in terms of how you communicate with others orally. All right, now I'm, I'm going to say that, underline that again for you, Capricorn, orally. It is important towards the end of January for you to step up your oral gap communication with others, especially for work. Let's see the, these. Let me take a look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. See, see, see. Okay. All right. Now, look. We've got here a um, Ingvats, uh, Ingvats at the very beginning here. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, but Ingvats. And Ingvats is, is a rune that tells you, that is a rune that makes you see long into the future, that makes you get, you know, uh, as if you had your tunnel vision and, and binoculars. And they're saying, take a look, because there, there's going to be success. It's a well wish, and it's also a predictory type of room. Here I'm seeing, um, um, because of your eyes of a child that I mentioned before, I have a Watts that that tells me, look, you can't do anything wrong, especially that second week of um, February. And also I have Pedro here. Pedro here is, um, you are very in tune to your gut feelings. Trust your gut. That's what it's telling me. And here I see that not only um, you are blessed with the key to your future through those eyes. The, you, you have the eyes of a child, and this is your, your uh, uh, goal and your strength of the month of January. Not only that, that's the key to the month of January, and it also is the key to help you in taking the bull by its horns and facing any problems that come up. You take boom, 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 you answer and solve each one. The third week that I mentioned, you know, um, you have a positive person and a negative person, keep them both close. Well, but then it, it dissipates and you become happy. And why does it dissipate? Because Isa's here and Isa tells me that you are headstrong and you want to do things your way. So remember that you have the eyes of a child for January. Now, let's take, close this up and then let me show you the cards that I'll be using for the, um, the second part of this reading, which is based on uh, all of the different signs of the zodiac who may have a role in your, excuse me, may have a role in your life, if you know them. Now that reading, this reading is for Scorpio, moon, sun, and rising. Here, when I take this deck, this is the deck of the um, that is not being able to see. There you go. We'll see. Well, there you go. It is the gold edition of the Egorov Tarot. It's a Russian deck. And I'll mix it and I'll choose one card for each sign. And remember that each sign is represented here both by sun, moon, and rising. So people that you know that have a role in your life may be with it. Uh, sun, moon, and rising for each of these signs. All right, let's start, and then I'll explain each one. So we have Aries. Let's see, we have the Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. Then Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, fellow Capricorns, or you yourself, Aquarius, and Pisces. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We have the nine of swords with an Aries. All right. An Aries, if you know an Aries in your life, this is a person which will, who will instill fear. Okay. Let me re re repeat that. They will try to instill fear in your life. So you may want to keep them at bay. This is just, you know, I'm not only saying that, that Aries usually do that. This is in relation to you in the month of January only. Aries are great people. We know that. Then we have Taurus represented by the Eight of Swords. Now, um, the Taurus in the form of the Eight of Swords 
is a person that has two readings here. They may want you to keep the status quo or they may counsel you into um, not attempting to risk anything, taking any risks, all right? So if that's what you're interested in, then heed their advice. The third card, the Gemini card, is the Nine of Wands. Now, the Nine of Wands person, the role of the Gemini for the month of January is a person who will come to you bearing heavy loads, and they may want to unload their part, part of their load to you. Um, be prepared for that if you have Geminis in your life, and be prepared for how to react to that. Then we have um, the Cancer. A Cancer in your life is the Ten of Swords. Interesting, uh, the Ten of Swords card for a Cancer person, because this is a person who, if you've had trouble with the Cancer person, if you've had a, a legal battle, a battle of words, you know, we call lawyers those who battle with words, and um, and swords are all about talk and and thoughts. And here, uh, if you have a Cancer in your life, who you have had a difficult relationship with because of a legal battle. Well, that's over. It's going to be over in the month of January. Now we're going to Leo, and Leo is the Knight of Wands. Typically a fire sign, Leo here, is this is a person during the month of um, January for you, is going to be coming in and bringing you on a whirlwind of of um, passion, of new ideas, of creativity especially. They're going to offer you a creative element in the month of January. Then we've got the page of coins for Virgo, represented by uh, Virgo. The page of coins here, I'm seeing this Virgo person as a person young at heart, could be a person who is younger than you, uh, a child, a sibling, a younger sibling, um, and they offer you the notion of, you know, they're going to say to you, you know, Ma, it could be a child. Um, I, if I were you, I would try to think about uh, things differently and give that person the benefit of a doubt. You know, they're going to bring you into a light, a, a state of light. They're going to start offering you the idea of what it would mean just for one moment to reason in light and try to block everything out. Of course, it does mean that we need the eyes of a child to be able to do that, just like this young Virgo person. Then we have a Libra in your life, possibly. Now, I'm not saying that all of these people will be in your life, but those of you who have them in your life, this is their role this month. The Libra is a page of cups here too. I'm seeing a person is not an offer of love. I don't see that as an offer of love. I see this as a very di uh, dynamic person, a younger person than yourself, possibly, or a person who has young soul, has a young soul, who is going to offer some um, idea of how you can proceed with your business. Okay, this is a Libra. How you know they're going to give you pointers uh, as to how to move. Go there, don't go there. Send your CV there, don't do it there. Try this. This is something new that's just come out, okay? Then we have a Scorpio here. Scorpio here is, um, in, is represented by the King of Coins. And the King of Coins person, as in the form of a Scorpio that may be potentially in your life, Capricorn, is a person who is, is well planted, is well-rooted in this world. It's a person who can be a relative, can be a bit older, but nonetheless, it's a fellow earth sign. Um, well, it's fellow earth, earth sign. This is a Scorpio who's not an earth sign, it's a water sign, but this is, he's reasoning like an earth sign. This is a person who will bring you, um, I've mentioned many times that uh, material goods, money, Money in itself, financial benefit and, and, and money actually is a, a spiritual good 
It is spiritual tender, I'd like to call it, because you can do so many things with it. There's a flow, and the flow is spiritual in nature. We, if we can choose to think of that, I've mentioned many often, um, oftentimes that many people ha- use money as a language of love, and we have to remember that there are many different elements. And this is, this is, uh, this person brings that to you, the Scorpio. Then we have um, Sagittarius, a Sagittarian in your life. Here we have the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands here, person as a Sagittarius, is a person of a family nature. This could be part of your family. This is a person who has um, your interests at heart. They, they're they opening their home to you. They're also a uh, support mechanism t- during the month of uh, January for you. A person to keep very, very close to you. Capricorn. The Three of Swords, fellow Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, if you have another Capricorn in your life, you may want to think twice because they may cause you a bit of trouble the month of January. If you don't have another Capricorn in your life, this Capricorn uh, card here talks about how you deal with you and yourself. It's an interior uh, monologue that you entertain the month of January. What does that mean? That means that you try to figure out your sense of insecurity, your sense of dismay, your sense of heartache, because the three of swords is after all a card of heartache. Why? Why does, and that you keep reasoning and you try to do that on your own. And it's, whereas it's always good to reason for any different issue on any different issue the idea of obsessions do do though uh, uh, are counterproductive this is just an idea to throw out then we have aquarius here we have the six the seven of coins aquarius now the seven of coins um, i'm going to adopt a different reading for the seven of coins take a look at how this seven of coins looks to you differently than many other decks. And the Seven of Coins is a highly spiritual card in this deck. It is a card that invites you and the Aquarian, this is an Aquarian person, Aquarius person in your life, invites you to take a hard look at what it means to be unconditional. Give people a second chance. Um, Take a look and don't only think in terms of black and white and what, and dollar signs, because dollar signs mean means that there are people behind that. There are ideas that people have behind those coins. Now the Piscean in your life. The Piscean in your life is a Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands in the form of a Piscean means that if you have this Piscean in your life, this Ten of Wands, it's over all that heavy baggage that they are carrying. They don't have to carry that anymore. They are not unloading on you anymore. This is the end of a burden for them. And if they are very close to you, it's also an end of a burden for you if you have a Piscean in your life. I do hope this was of help to you, ladies and gentlemen, Capricorn friends. Um, and I just want to say hello to my friend out there, Lita Capricorn. I think of you all the time. <laughs> And um, ladies and gentlemen, do like, share, and subscribe my um, channel. I would appre- and my videos. I would really appreciate that. And namaste until we read together again. Bye bye. We'll see each other soon.